for the best car, SUV, or truck, guess what? You're in luck. Frontier Motors is down the street. Got the best deals that can't be beat. Don't overpay. Come in today. Doing business the old-fashioned way. Frontier, we got the right price. Frontier, we'll treat you mighty nice. Frontier Motors, low overhead country. And we call it low overhead country because of the prices that you can get on the vehicles that are established there. 230 Beverly Parkway, the home of Frontier Motors. The owner of that establishment is here with us, uh, at least one of them is. Uh, Ivan Strickler has joined us, and you can too if you'd like to be a part of the show. Get the price of a car or a truck or an SUV that you're thinking of buying or selling or trading in. How would you do that? You would dial 478-3116 and be connected as if by magic. To Ivan Strickel. Good morning, sir. Hey, Don. Thanks for the introduction. And this, again, is the Frontier Motor Show, and we bring uh, with us a double format. We are live on the air right now at 1370 AM radio. And, again, if you want to join us for an appraisal on your car, if you'd like to find out what the value of your car is, uh, Don has already said the number. I'll say it one more time, 478 478- 3116. That's 478 3116. We're all so videotaping this for our Blab TV customers out there, and we're going to get the video out into the Pensacola area to kind of let the people in the Pensacola area know what Frontier Motors offers to them, other than the fact that we sell some great cars. And, you know, there's a lot of dealerships. I, I got the new results from the, uh, from the, uh, the Department of Motor Vehicles, they send us a list of every dealer and what they sell every month so we can kind of figure out how we do against other dealers and also what the other dealers are selling versus what we're selling so we can get a really good handle on uh, how many dealers are out there. And I counted yesterday, and there were uh, 77 used car dealers and there were 30 new car dealers. Um, so that's... Uh, uh, 107 total dealers just in our area. So what we do a little bit different, because they all sell cars, so you can go anywhere to buy a car, but what we do a little bit different is we give you advice on what to pay for a particular car, and we give you advice on a lot of different uh, 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 th- uh, things that have to do with the car business. So this is what makes us a little bit different than the other dealers. And we don't do this just to get you to buy a car from us. And I'll give you an example. One of the things that we talk about other than price, which obviously is the number one thing that we help you with, is the fact that we will help you get a Carfax report without you paying for it. And I, I mention this uh, every time we do a show because a Carfax report is thirty nine ninety five plus tax, so you're looking at about $42 every time you want to run a Carfax on a car that you're thinking of buying, especially if it's from a private individual. You know, if you're looking at a car on Craigslist, uh, wouldn't it be nice to know that the car's got a good history or at least know what the history of that p- particular vehicle is? Without you having to pay for the history report, you give Frontier Motors, the ID number, and we will run the history report for you. And I've got a program in my computer called Dealer Tra- Track Technologies that also spits out all the pricing on that particular car. In other words, it will give me the black wholesale guidebook uh, that is what's going on through the auctions. It will also give me the NEDA book pricing, which is very important because this is the book that the credit unions, banks, and insurance companies in our area use. It also tells me exactly uh, real-time what is uh, what the car is selling for at the auction, and also give me the Kelly Blue Book, the Edmonds, and we don't really put as much emphasis on the Kelly and the Edmonds because that's not what our bankers use. They happen to use the NEDA book value, so that's very important. And now, if the NEDA book, for example, says that a vehicle's got a twenty-three thousand dollar retail value but they're running at the auction for $17,000, this book is giving you the, the false information because you wouldn't want to pay $23,000 for a car that I can buy at the auction for seventeen. dollars Now, don't get me wrong. If I buy it for seventeen at the auction, I'm not going to sell it for seventeen. dollars There are some fees involved when you buy a car at the auction. You've got to pay the auction fee. You've got to pay the buyer that buys the car for you. Uh, you've got to pay the shipping to get the car, any type of reconditioning if you've got to detail the car or if you've got to change the oil and things like that, and then you put a profit on But let's just use an average. Let's say the car gets purchased for seventeen, dollars and I can sell it for twenty dollars when it gets back to the dealership. Well, if the book value is 23, and that's what the banker is going to tell you the book value is, you'd be paying too much money because I can sell you that car for $20,000. And this is the type of information that I'm talking about that you can get at Frontier Motors any day of the week except for Sunday. You can call us and say, hey, my neighbor's got a car for sale, and they're asking $17,000 for it, and I want to know if that's a good price or a bad price. 
You don't even have to give us the price. You can just give us the information on the car. We'll do the research. In a matter of minutes, we can tell you this is what we'll pay for that particular car. This is what we can sell this particular car for to you. So if you can use that information to help you get a, yourself get a good deal, well, that's what it's all about. So that's just one thing that we can help you with at Frontier Motors. We can also help you with, and I did this yesterday for a customer. They had a Mercedes. They got into a slight fender bender. It wasn't even that big of a deal. But on a Mercedes, when the Carfax says act, accident reported there's what we call diminished value the value of that car now is going to be a little bit less because it's an accident now this happened to be a minor accident so it wasn't that much but if you find one mercedes that has never been an accident another one that's been in a minor accident i think the diminished value in my uh, in my opinion is about fifteen hundred dollars so i wrote that customer diminished value letter stating that the value of her car is now fifteen hundred dollars less because it's been an accident and she's going to take that back to the insurance company and and hopefully they'll write her an additional check on top of the accident for $1,500 because now it has to be disclosed. Now, they'll only do this, by the way, if it's not your fault. So if you run into a mailbox, you're not going to get a diminished uh, letter value. Also, by the way, if it's an old car, there's not going to be a lot of diminished value. This happened to be a 2013 model car with 12,000 miles on it, so the car was relatively new. So that's one of the things that we can help you with. The other thing is, what if that car is not a fender, uh, gets an accident, but it's not a fender bender? What if it's a major issue? <clears throat> what if you got a $20,000 car and has $16,000 worth of damage? Now what we can do is help you if that car gets totaled. We'll give you an NADA book value in writing and let you know this is what we feel that the insurance company should be writing a check for. Now you don't need to share that information with the insurance company, but you need to have it in your back pocket just in case you need it. Some insurance companies are very fair with you. They'll give you the NAD value right off the bat. Don't forget they should also pay for taxes. They should also pay for the title fee, for the tag transfer. So there's other things that you can get out of the insurance company. Another little helpful hint, when you buy your insurance, ask them what did they use for criteria to replace the car with because that's going to be really important whether it's a good insurance policy or whether it's a bad insurance policy. Some insurance companies use what they call comparables. In other words, if they find a car that has a $23,000 book value, which is what I feel they should be paying, but they find a car online for $17,000, they're going to use a comp and say, well, we found one right here for $17,000, so that's what we're going to pay you. You don't want to do that. You want to get a car that uses the NEDA book value, an insurance company that uses the NEDA book value. The other thing we can help you out with is let you uh, share with you which car is a good car, which car is a bad car. We have the, uh, the consumer's reports, which you can purchase at any grocery store, but we have it at Frontier Motors, and based on uh, our experience with selling all makes and models of cars. The nice thing about being an independent dealer is we don't have to sell you a particular model. And I bring this up quite often when we do our radio show that if you are looking at an Acura, for example, and you go to Acura Mobile, that salesperson in the Acura dealership is trained on why you should be buying an Acura instead of the Lexus across the street or the BMW down the road or, or whatever other model is out there. So, uh, so what we're going to do being an independent dealer, is we don't have to sell you the Acura because we have them all lined up there. We have the Acura, we have the BMW, the Mercedes, the Lexus. We have them all lined up so you can take your choice. We even have the Audis online right now. So um, I'm not online. We have them online, but we also have them on the, at the dealership. So the nice thing about coming into Frontier Motors is that you're not going to get that pressure situation or you're not going to get that sales job, so to speak, that this car is a better car than that car because we don't care which one you pick out. We have them all. So if you come in and you say, well, I don't really want a Mercedes. I'd rather have a BMW. Well, that's fine. Well, if you're a Mercedes salesman at the Mercedes dealership, you wouldn't like that answer. So you've got all kinds of reasons why you feel that uh, that, that, that salesman I'm talking about has all kinds of reasons why he feels that the Mercedes is going to be a better car than the BMW and vice versa. You go to the BMW dealership, which happens to be Sandy Sansing, that salesman there knows all the reasons why he feels the BMW is going to be a better car than the Mercedes. Well, at Frontier Motors, we have them, we have them both. Now, if you're going to buy a brand new one, I would... Uh, I would definitely send you to buy a Mercedes at Centennial Imports. That's a local dealership. We want you to keep the money uh, in Pensacola. And the same thing if you're going to buy a BMW. Uh, Sandy Sansing BMW has uh, uh, is a great dealership, and they also have a great service department, a phenomenal warranty on BMW. I believe BMW is still one of the only ones that actually changes the oil 
uh, for the uh, time of the warranty, which means you get free oil changes and things like that if it's a four uh, with a four year fifty thousand mile warranty, which is a really good reason to get you back into the dealership if they happen to do your maintenance for free for you. So what we can do is we can share the consumer's guide with you, but not just the consumer's guide, but also our experience on what uh, on uh, what we feel about a particular car based on us selling these cars at Frontier Motors uh, for going on 19 years now. And we, we average about 2,500 sales a year, so it adds up after a while. So we get, get a handle on uh, which car is a good car and a bad car. If you've got a small used car dealership that's selling 15 cars a month, they're really not going to have an idea on a repetitive basis on which car is a good car and a bad car because there's so many cars out there. I think when I read my automotive news, it said, my automotive magazine, it said there's 232 makes of cars out there. So that's a lot of different makes. Well, if you're only selling uh, you know, 10 or 15 cars a month, it's not going to give you an idea of which car you should stay away from. So we can give you our opinion on that also. By the way, if you do want to join us and get a value on the car, I do have the NEDA guidebooks. And these guidebooks that I have are a little bit different than what you get on the internet. I happen to have, uh, being a dealer, I can get into the NEDA values that the uh, in insurance companies use and the uh, banks use. Um, uh, four seven eight three one one six. If you want to join us, four seven eight three one one six. I want to talk a little bit about our inventory at Frontier Motors. I noticed that I have a, a new inventory sheet that I brought this morning, and as of this morning, we had uh, three hundred and eighteen vehicles in stock, which is quite a bit, uh, and that's not counting the ten uh, vehicles that we bought yesterday. So we have three hundred twenty-eight vehicles available uh, in, for immediate delivery, um, and uh, out of those cars, in the last three days, we bought we purchased thirty-seven new cars in three days. And that gives me, when we talk about purchasing cars, customers always ask, well, where do you get your cars? You know, if you're buying 37 cars in three days, where are, all they come, where, where are they all coming from? Well, one of the places that we're getting some of them from are at the auction. Some of the newer cars that we're buying are guaranteed by the auction. So yesterday, for example, I bought a 2014 Lexus GS uh, uh, 350 uh, F, which is their sport model with 12,000 miles on it. I don't have to worry about that buying that car at the auction because the auction guarantees that car against anything uh, like uh, frame damage, uh, odometer problems, lemon law buybacks, uh, any type of paint work on the vehicle is disclosed. They have the ID number so I can run the history report. They rate the car from 0 to 5. This particular car was rated 4.9, which means it's pretty much perfect, just like a new car. So that's one of the places that I get our cars is from the auction. The other place that we get our car is from private individuals. Matter of fact, I brought uh, a letter along from one of the private individuals that we purchased a car for uh, from, and uh, we want to buy cars from private individuals uh, because we get to talk to them, we get to find out what the background of the car is, and we have a broker that we, I don't want to say we employ because it's an independent broker, Scott and Betsy Tate are uh, from Pensacola, and uh, Scott used to be a, one of our salespeople, he went independent, and uh, left our employment and said, I'm going to help buy cars for Frontier Motors. So he's a broker. So what he does is he scours the internet for cars for sale by owner. And then what we do is we make offers on these particular cars. And there, a lot of customers always think it's a scam when somebody calls. Matter of fact, it's kind of interesting when I look at some of the Craigslist ad I see on the bottom, no dealers, please. Now, why is a customer afraid to deal with a dealer? If anything, you think it would be a little bit easier. And that's why Scott uh, is uh, a very good uh, help for us because he's not a dealer. Uh, he's an independent person that might call you up and say, I have a dealer that's interested in your car, and they're going to make an offer on your car. Now, how can they make an offer on a car without seeing it? It's very simple. I've got my guidebooks right here, and it tells me what the NADA is. It tells me what they're going for at the auction. It tells me what the retail is. It also tells me what every car like that is selling for with the 150-mile to a 500-mile radius. So I can pretty much, with a matter of two to three minutes, give uh, Scott, an offer on that car subject to any reconditioning. And I've got a letter here, Don, I want you to read that um, I got from one of our customers that was very skeptical. He happened to have his car on Craigslist. So um, Scott sent me the link. I made an offer. And this is what happened once the customer got the offer. All right. It's addressed to Scott, Scott Ford, who is uh, one of your top salesmen. Actually, yeah, down Scott there. Tate. That's the um, buyer. Oh, I'm sorry. The, mm -hmm. Yeah, I see what you're talking about. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, so it was running a little late, so when I opened the garage, the vet was covered in pollen. I just rinsed it off and left. When I arrived and got out, everyone seemed to be aware I was coming. The comments were all how great and how pretty this Corvette was. It really just needed vacuum and washing. 
I have to admit we were a little skeptical by just dealing on the Internet. Then arriving, we expected the buyer to start trying to cut the payment price after his inspection and driving. Much to our surprise, everything and everyone, including Todd and all that we met, was outstanding, polite, and professional. The buyer, whose name he's embarrassed to say he forgot, (laughs) pulled out the contract, wrote our agreed amount down, and had me sign it. He returned a few minutes later, had me check for the full and agreed upon amount. Todd shook my hand and said he appreciated our honesty about the vet as it was as we promised. They let me take my Alabama floor mats out, and everyone again commented on the paint color and how nice the condition was. Uh, Something is wrong, my wife stated. This was too easy, but wait, there's more. We're still skeptical. I give up my car, the title, and the keys for a piece of paper they said was a check. Oh, okay. We programmed in the bank address, and off we go. We walked up to the teller and stated we were from Mobile. We had just sold a car, and we had a check that we would like to cash. The teller immediately asked if we sold it at Frontier Motors. (laughs) He said, my legs got weak. (laughs) Oh, that's great. (laughs) Then she stated that they, Frontier Motors, buy a lot of cars and the bank cashes their checks. Now I'm beginning to get some of my strength back. The bank verified with Todd about the issuance of the check. All was still too good to be true, he says. The teller said she had a little problem with cashing the check. And before she could finish, my wife said, see? I told you there was going to be a problem. The teller smiled and said the only problem was she didn't have that much cash in her drawer. (laughs) So part of it would have to be a cashier's check. When we decide to buy another vehicle, we intend to look on Frontier Motors website first and try to give them our business. Scott, thank you and all at Frontier uh, Motors for a smooth and extremely professional transaction. And it's signed by your clients. That's pretty good. Thanks, Don. That's a good read. And, folks, what, what I'm getting at is that if you've got a car for sale, instead of doing like these people did, these people put this vehicle on Craigslist, and after about two months, they, they weren't able to sell the vehicle. And one of the reasons is, and people always wonder, well, why aren't people calling me? I'm a private person. Well, if you've got a trade-in, you pretty much know that you're probably not going to take a trade-in if it's a private individual selling the car. Where at Frontier Motors, when we sell that Corvette, we'll take anything and trade. And most people these days that are buying a car in that $30,000 bracket already are driving something that they need to dispose of first. So that's where we come in. The other thing we can uh, offer that, that the customers can't is we can offer financing. We've got up to 15 lenders that have the best rates in town. A lot of times we can even meet your credit union and your own bank, so we can offer financing for the car. Uh, we can also uh, offer uh, warranties on the car. This particular car happened to be a 2006 model. I think it's got 17,000 miles on a 2006 Corvette. So it's uh, it, we can also offer a warranty on that particular car, which he's not able to do because the car is out of warranty. So you might, uh, if you're listening to this on uh, the radio or watching this on TV, just remember uh, if Scott now Tate happens to give you an email that it's legitimate that we are interested in buying the car. Now, the only time it doesn't go smooth, let's say this gentleman uh, came in with his Corvette and the tires were bald. I would still buy his car, but I would deduct about $1,000 for tires because obviously on a Corvette, tires are more than normal. I think the average set of tires costs about $600. On a Corvette, they're quite a bit more than that. And and the customer at that point would make a decision whether he would take that or whether he would drive back home. And as long as you're honest with the description of the car, we're going to give you what we talked about. Yeah, So it makes it very simple. And I would say 90% of the time, there's not an issue. We just write you a check. Every once in a while, a customer doesn't see that the right rear window on his car wasn't working because he hasn't used it in five years. So if it costs $300 to fix the window, we would deduct $300 off the purchase price. But if you have a car for sale, call Frontier Motors. And what we will do is we will give you a bid right over the phone. And you can do this. You can go ahead and list the car yourself, or you can make that call first. And what we can do is tell you what we'll write a check for, The second thing we can do is we'll tell you what we can consign it for. In other words, I'll give you a little bit more money. On the Corvette, for example, I offered the gentleman $1,500 more on consignment because I didn't have to tie up my cash. So that kind of makes sense. I get a car for free. Now, I might not make as much money on that car if I give him $1,500 more, but a little bit is better than nothing at all. The third thing I can do is tell you what you should sell that car for. I can give you the NEDA book, which might not mean a lot, but I can tell you what, what's the reality on this car. One of the reasons we were able to purchase this car is because he had the car grossly overpriced. 
And I believe he used the Kelly Blue Book instead of the NADA. When we showed him how we came up with the values that we were paying quite a bit more than average wholesale for his beautiful car, but it wasn't as much as retail, he said, you know what? Well, I'm just going to sell the car because I can cancel the insurance. Like he said, he got cash at the bank. He didn't know that. He didn't know, and I didn't know this also, that a lot of banks don't have a lot of cash. So for you guys out there thinking of bank robbery, just remember that. You can't go into a bank these days and get $100,000 out of it. They don't have that money. Um, this car was about a $30,000 car, and it was kind of interesting that they did not they have, have $30,000 at that particular branch. And I'm, pro- I'm sure there's a reason for it. So if they do get stuck up, they're not going to lose all their cash. <laughs> but they had about half of it sitting at the dealership. So anyways, that's how it works as far as buying a car from Frontier Motors. So, And you can also go to our website and kind of walk you through it that if you got a car for sale what to do for that car it'll uh, and the best thing to do is just give us a call uh, or uh, stop in a 230 beverly parkway and let us take 15 minutes the kind of cool thing that we have these days with the smartphones um when i have my smartphone right here i have an app on my smartphone that hooks into my computer i can scan the id number and it'll immediately uh, go to the car i type in the mileage i've got a camera in here so i take a about five or six pictures of the car. When I get into my computer, it's all in there. I can actually do it right. Uh, I can appraise the car outside of the building with my phone. These are cool things that we never were able to do years ago. Well, I remember in the old days, Don, when you had to write the contract by hand. I remember when you didn't have a computer. I remember, oh, you yeah. remember those days do also where there was no such thing. I remember when we first got a computer, I said, I'm not going to use that thing. I can do it way faster by hand. Well, now we can't live without the computer, and now I can't live without my smartphone. I can appraise so many vehicles with the smartphone, and the reason I'm telling this, folks, is because it only takes a matter of minutes. It used to be sometimes to get an appraisal, a dealership took an hour, an hour and a half. Sometimes, you know, we get customers that shop at different dealers and say, I spent five hours there. I'm like, what are you doing there? Because what when I give you bottom line price, what I do is I do my research first. So when you're looking at my first car that comes up here is a 2014 Nissan Sentra that I have on the lot. By the way, it only has 130 miles on it. So before I give you a bottom line price on that car, I go into my price driver setting, which tells me what every 14 Nissan is selling for, Sentra is selling for, within 150 miles. Because I don't want to be embarrassed. So I'm going to give you that one price within minutes. And then I'm going to do is I'm going to take my worksheet out. I'm going to put the price down, the discount, the sale price. I'm going to add the taxes, the dock fee, the tag transfer, the license plate fee. And the title fee, I'm going to circle the bottom line. I'm going to quickly make a copy of it, and I'm going to hand it to you and say, here, this is what you can buy our car for. Now, 50% of the people, because they've bought a car from us before, say, okay, that sounds fair. I'll take it. The other 50% say, okay, I'm going to take your figure, and I'm going to see if I can go buy a car somewhere else cheaper. I've already done my research, and most of those customers that go out with my piece of paper, I always tell them before they go, now, if you go to a dealership that won't give you a bottom line price in writing, I'd walk out. Because we gave you the price in writing. If they won't, forget it. And I'm talking about everything, including the tag fee. A lot of dealerships give you that, the price with taxes, and tell you that's not the door figure. It's not because they forgot to put the, ta- the dock fee on there. They forgot to put the tax on the dock fee. They got forgot the tire tax, the battery tax, the license plate charge, the title fee, and the renewal fee. Those are seven fees they forgot, even though they included taxes. So you want to make sure that you get a total out-the-door figure with everything included. And that's the way that you get a good deal for yourself. And when you have our figure in your back pocket, it arms you with the ammunition to get yourself a good deal. Because they might say, well, what if I beat their price by $500? We already did the research to make sure that doesn't happen. 75% of those people come back and they see Frontier Motors. I pulled up some of the cars that we have in the Frontier Motors. You'll notice that we don't talk a lot about our inventory. I told you earlier that we have 300 and about 20 cars in inventory right now. But one of the things that customers don't know is the type of inventory we have. And I would consider ourselves the alternative to new car dealership. So if you're going to look at a new car, you definitely want to stop in the Frontier Motors. The first car that shows up on here is the Sentra I talked about with 100 miles on it. The second car is a Nissan Rogue with, 100, with 380 miles on it. We also have a 15 Honda. Honda Odyssey with 1,000 miles on it. We have a 15 Buick LaCrosse with 1,600 miles on it, a 14 Chevy Equinox 
with 2,000 miles on it, a Honda Civic with 2,000 miles, a Nissan Frontier Crew Cab with 2,500 miles, a Hyundai Sonata with 2,700 miles, a Dodge Charger with 2,700 miles on it, a Nissan Note, which is their small hatchback car with 2,900 miles on it, a Honda Insight Hybrid with 3,000 miles, a Corvette Stingray with 3,000 miles, an Audi A3. I can go on and on and on. You get the gist of what I'm talking about is that we have a lot of cars that are just like new that are going to save you thousands of thousands of dollars. Everybody knows what depreciation is when they buy a new car and drive it off the lot. Heck, Dave Ramsey even does a commercial uh, for Frontier Motors saying that don't buy a new car, buy from Frontier Motors. And the reason Dave Ramsey says that is because if you are going to buy a car, don't buy a new car. Have somebody else take that $5,000, $6,000 hit when they drive off the lot. And on some of the cars we have, like the Corvette Stingray, they save, save you almost $7,000 on a one and that car is not even one year old. I think it's six months old or over the price of a new one with 3,000 miles on it. So you want to definitely shop us. The worst that we can do is tell you what your trade-in's worth. I've got customers coming in and say, I've saved all my life for a brand new car. You ain't going to talk me out of buying a brand new car. That's fine. We're going to try. We're going to show you what a 2015 used one's going to be. But the more we can help you is make sure they don't try to take advantage of you on the trade-in. So if you're going to buy a brand new car, we have what we, I call the new car cost guides. I don't call them. They call themselves the new car cost guides. And that is an invoice guy, guide on every car out there. So if you're going to buy a brand new car, we can tell you what to pay. So that's one thing we can help you with at Frontier Motors because we know what the dealer paid. Now, we're not telling you that you should pay what the dealer paid. We're going to tell you what the profit you should pay on a particular car. And then we're going to tell you what the wholesale value of your car is worth. So if I give you $15,000 for your car wholesale and they give you 11000 the first thing you can say, well, I'm go going back to Frontier. Or you can tell them. Frontier Motors is willing to give me 15000 unless you give me 15000 I'm out of here. So it gives that salesman the ammunition to go back to the manager and say, hey, we got to do, we got to meet Frontier's price or they're going to buy at Frontier. So it causes them to reappraise their car, your car, for the higher dollar amount. Sometimes what happens, you just sell me the car for 15000 That way you're open to go negotiate whatever best deal you can and you don't have to worry about the trade value. Sometimes it gets a little confusing as far as trade value. Like us on Facebook. We've got a great Facebook page. We've got our newest and latest, greatest cars that come in. We put them on Facebook all the time. You can talk to us on Facebook. We also, uh, you can uh, subscribe to YouTube. We've got a great YouTube channel where this show right here, for example, when it's done within the next couple of days, you're going to see that on YouTube. So if you don't have to, if you're listening to this in the car right now, you want to watch it or get any more information, you can pull it up on YouTube. And, of course, uh, you can always, uh, the, the, on, the, on TV right now, you're going to see the, the phone number on the bottom of your screen uh, is, is running, so you can give us a call. And uh, Frontier Motors, again, has been in business for 19 years. Uh, we have 320 cars in inventory. We're the largest independent dealer uh, in, uh, in this area, if not the whole state of uh, Florida. There's a, uh, there's a couple of dealers that have new car uh, franchises that sell as many cars, uh, but there's not a lot of independents that sell as many cars with us. And the reason that's important, it keeps us in, in really good inventory. So we're buying about 60 cars a month, I mean a week. Uh, we're buying over 300 cars a month. Obviously, if we sell uh, 250, we've got to replace them with 250. So if you've got a car for sale, stop picking Frontier Motors. Some of the best financing, the best salespeople. And we make it really easy and fun to buy a car. You're don't, not going to get the pressure that you get at some of the dealerships when you walk in that you get surrounded and say, hey, what is it going to take to buy to earn your business today? You won't get that at Frontier Motors. We want to make sure that our customers buy a car when they want. We don't sell you a car. You end up buying a car from us. And that makes a big difference. That's Frontier Motors, 230 Beverly Parkway. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. Have a great day. Auf Wiedersehen. Looking for the best car, SUV, or truck? Guess what? You're in luck. Frontier Motors is down the street. Got the best deals that can't be beat. Don't overpay. Come in today. Doing business the old-fashioned way. Frontier. We've got the right price. Frontier. We'll treat you mighty nice. Frontier Motors. Low overhead punch.